Hi guys, welcome to another episode of FLM Chips and today is going to be a different vlog altogether. So today we're going to be doing a masterclass. So just recently I just did a masterclass for IPWG which is the Independent Production Workers Group here in the Philippines and I'd like to share to you that lecture that I just did. So here we go. Moving on. Um, so before I begin, um, I'd just like to introduce myself first. Uh, so, yun nga po, <laughs> ako po si Frank Bumaril and I'm a freelance event, concert, TV and video director. So, I'm also a creative director for my own company, which is FLM Creatives and Productions Inc. And I used to be a college professor in the College of St. Pinot for Multimedia Arts. And um, pinalad din po tayo na in 2018, I was awarded a Concert Director of the Year for Asia Leaders Awards for the Concert of AGs uh, in Araneta. So, um, I'm here to actually talk to you about directing in the new normal. So, yesterday, we learned about the fundamentals of directing and up to, up to tonight, we actually learned about the nuances of directing live events diba? so what we are uh, to be uh, what am I going to be discussing to you today is basically how do we transition how do we transition from the live that we used to do to actually going into the digital arena diba? and uh, yes you have seen uh, with the Rec Robbie's um, presentation super super na tackle niya yung mga yung I mean he has experienced how it is to transition and I'm super proud that I've got to work with him in, in, you know, in the 50th anniversary of, you know, of, of Bali Philippines and then also with Derek Paolo with this uh, with uh, Regine Velasquez and Vice Ganda's concert so now it's all about the new normal we can't deny the fact that it's here and of course we're encouraging everyone to start adapting you will hear a lot of that word from me the word adapting, the word uh, adapt, so yeah, in the coming slides. Okay, so before I, before I also begin some of the pointers that I wanted to show you guys, um, I want to show you some few pictures and show me uh, and tell me what you feel about them. As you can see in the pictures right now, thank you to Elmer La Pena for actually <laughs> for sharing this to me. This was a uh, uh, from Facebook from one of the events groups there and they showed us half of the picture of a of a um, empty space and how it's being transformed into an event diba? so I would just like to share these photos to remind you guys to remind everyone that in the event industry how important your role is in making these wonderful events happen and how can you transform a space well, ako, I'd like to call it as a place of happiness. Because when you go to an event, diba, usually you feel happy going to it. Diba? And we want to keep that. Diba? We want to keep that. Now, let's move on. Showing you, showing you this, um, the difference of an empty space and you filling it up. These two words, actually, as Paul de Valenciano, when I had a conversation with him, killed us. And this is what? Social <laughs> distancing. Diba? So when the words social distancing was born and implemented, the landscape of live events was drastically changed. No. People including people including um your uh wait lang, someone's telling me that something's wrong. Okay, so going back, diba? social distancing killed us, as Paulo Valenciano would put it. Diba? And people like us, including directors, thought that their lives would never be the same again. Hence, we put out videos of us being depressed, being um, 
all alone, all in black and white. And some of my friends even think that their jobs are obsolete. I want to I want to put you guys in that situation first. I want to bring that back that that feeling and then bring back that hope in you guys. I mean that's the purpose of this presentation for you guys. So remember that our bis- that bis- our business is putting people together. But now we can't do it. So what do we do? So what is the word that can actually help us um do it? And there's just four, uh, five, five letter words that we should do. And of course, we should adapt. Correct? And when we adapt, just like the saying goes, when life gives us lemons, let's make lemonade out of it. Yes? Okay. Now, let me go through it on a theoretical point of view. I'm, I'm a proud Tomasian and I'm, I was trained in the University of Santo Tomas to actually think of it, think of situations theoretically and practically. Let me bring it to you theoretically first. Okay? So, what's happening to us right now is, I think, based from these two communication theories. Since, of course, we are all communicators and um, we communicate differently now. And this is why. Our, the first theory that I'd like to discuss to you guys is the communication accommodation theory. So, communication accommodation is a communication theory which emphasizes on the adjustment of people thus while communicating. So, ibig sabihin lang nito, just to put it plainly, is iniiba na natin on how we communicate to our audience because of our situations. And we minim- to minimize our social difference, which is our social distance, Iniiba natin yung how we speak to our audience. And key word to this is convergence. So convergence is the process where people tend to adapt, again, to the communication characteristic to reduce social differences. Okay, that's one. And another one is technological determinism. So the technological determinism is a reductionist theory that aims to provide a costly link between technology and society's nature. So, ang sinasabi lang naman dyan is the medium is the message. Diba? So, changes in technology are the primary and most important source that leads to changes in society. Before, we were used to TV, radio, print. And then, internet came along. And then, of course, with that, there's also live. Now, we can't do live. Where do people go? There, syempre, ang ano nila, their, their nature is to go to the internet. And the internet has all the infer- information they need. And the, with the emergence of social media, it, it actually heightened more the need for actually entertainment, for information, and all the things that we have been doing live into a small box, which is their screens or te- their television screens. So those are the few theories that I'd like to discuss with you guys. And as the saying goes by Leonard Bainstein, which is an American musician, composer. To achieve great things, two things are needed. One, a plan. And second, not quite enough time. Because this just happened just this year. And of course, siempre, we have no time. Because we need to adapt quickly. Okay? Okay. So next, let me just differentiate to you well, based from my experience and what I've noticed as a director, how was directing before and how is it directing in the new normal? There's only two things that I'd like to share with you guys. One is, of course, directing before you're envisioning and executing concepts on stage. Yeah, diba? You're envisioning and uh, executing. Uh, exe- executing. Uh, executing concept on stage. Hindi ko po talaga makalimutan yung flower ni Derek Raymond. Kaya hindi ako baka, baka. But anyways, yes. So, di ba, you're looking at it at a macro level. Di ba? Kasi ikaw bilang director nasa tech booth ka and you're looking at your stage from far away. And you're, 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 ang tinitignan mo is yung, yung, tawag nito, yung reaction ng audience mo from where you're seated and everyone, in, everyone there in your venue. Di ba? 
And you feel that energy. Diba? And now, directing in the new normal, you're envisioning and executing concepts on mobile and on computer screens. You are bound, well, in right now, like, like me and my station right now, if you're just seeing what I'm looking at right now, I have three screens. I have three screens, one for my PowerPoint, one for Zoom, one for my slides, and one for another one. Diba? So you're looking at it through computer screens. Now, um, let me just tell you the story of how I got into directing. I started out with TV. I used to be a copywriter for Studio 23. So I just... I was just basically writing two, three lines, and it becomes a video, a 30 second. So that's what I did. And then ABS-CBN um, discovered me, and then I, I, I rose to the ranks until I became a TV director. Now, my training uh, in school was multi-camera, which was good, um, multi-camera. So fast forward, now that I'm directing live events, I am now forced to shove, to actually go back to TV directing, multi-camera, because that's what I have to do in order to adapt to the new normal. Although I still do it, naman, I, I still do it pre-COVID. Like I've been, I've been um, uh, collaborating with Derek Paulo with his um, C Games. I, I was the TV director for the closing of the C Games. Um, I, Again, also with him, I also did Asia Pacific International pageant. I was a TV director, and some other uh, TV. So, and also some canned uh, shows. So it became for me, it became like a transition again from me going to TV, then live, then now live going back to TV. So that's how it is now. Because you know, by your envisioning and executing concepts on mobile and computer screens, and then next the second one is before you were managing talents and skills of people simultaneously and proximately. Magkatabi tayo. You tell your spinner, this is what I want. You tell your uh, your visual artist, this is what I want. And we all meet face to face. And of course, now in the new normal, you're managing talents and skills of people virtually and from a distance. Diba? Katulad nga ng presentation ni Derek Robbie, numerous zoom calls numerous phone calls and numerous a lot of numerous things happening diba? and it's because we cannot do face to face and we're forced to actually give our instructions from afar it may seem as if it were close because we're just looking at screens but it's still far the message is still not the same as if i were to tell you right up front your face diba? so that's the difference now so that's the difference of, uh, well, directing before and directing in the new normal. Those are just two things that, well, on the surface of what's happening right now. So, well, both of us, like me and Direct Nathan or everyone in, in, in the Philippines right now, as I've noticed and what I think, is all of us are still adapting to these changes. I, I cannot say I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, well, Magaling na ako sa, sa indirecting in the new normal. So basically, I'm just sharing you some knowledge of the things that I've um, I've noticed and basically have experienced. So that for for other directors also, may be new or maybe older, maybe or maybe budding directors as well, that they can actually start adapting to what it is right now. And just as what Direct Nathan has said earlier, um, when we were doing our, our reviews and everything, this would go on for for quite a while and it's not gonna be well it's not gonna come back soon so I think we should be starting to adapt okay just um, how do you call this just an icebreaker everyone was having having a hard time on zoom earlier yes and uh, yeah so everyone's having a hard time on zoom that isn't a bad thing actually that's that's also part of adapting to new to new technology and because of what's happening right now everyone is now on zoom and everything is forced to forced to learn it diba? and now we're 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 forced to parang ngayon how to share screen how to put the sound on the on the video parang, believe it or not 
direct Nathan and I decided to do this, this uh, platform or what you're seeing on screen right now, like an hour or two hours before our presentation, because we wanted to show you guys that we should adapt to what's happening. Like right now, because things are going shitty on Zoom, we should adapt. So what we did is we, we, we made sure that our slides should be able to start kahit without share screen. So, okay naman. <laughs> okay, so just, a, just a, an icebreaker just before I move on to some tips on directing for the new normal. I'd like to share you guys like nine types of people on Zoom. Diba? And then some quick tips on how to look good on your video. So diba, lahat tayo, when we are in Zoom, Sino kaya kayo dito? This is from Boki. I don't know if you guys seen this on Facebook. Yung isa, yung may dalang pusa o may aso sa likod habang nagzo-zoom. Ako, ano ako dyan? <laughs> yung aso ko, laging, lagi ako ginagulo pag nasa bahay. Yung isa naman, yung laging shirtless. Yung, ako, yung isa naman, nagsasalita ng nakamute. <laughs> laging nakamute sa, sa, sa video. O kaya yung iba naman, imbis na buong mukha ang pinapakita, noo lang ang pinapakita. O yung iba naman, pag nagbimiting, hindi nagpapakita ng mukha ever. Black screen lang siya sa Zoom. Diba? O kaya yung iba, nag-freeze. Yung, wala. Baka hindi kaya ng internet. Yung iba naman, dahil nga, hindi niya naiintindihan. So, laging ano daw, ano daw. O yung iba, naka-Zoom, nasa CR. O kaya, yung iba, maingay yung background. Diba? <laughs> so, those are just some of the people that I, well, funny. Funny. But, uh, here are some, like, quick tips on video conferencing. Because, I think this would be the new normal for everyone. And, and for us to be, like, professionals on what we do, we should be able to actually show them, even on the small screen, how how we present ourselves. Correct, you know, like what Direct Raymond is saying and everyone is saying here, that of course, for us directors, this is a, direct, a directing class, diba? but we should be able to present ourselves well. Like, um, hindi naman sa, ano, like right now, if you would see my setup, I have two lights, which is my key light and my, and my, and my uh, soft light, and I also have a backlight with me. But I just can't, so yeah, so I just had it set up because I wanted to show you guys that it can be done. It can be done, and it's something that we should we should um, invest on as directors if you want to, of course, look good in front of our clients as well. So here's a quick tips on how uh, to go on with uh, uh, video conferencing. Make sure that your camera is horizontal. Not vertical, but horizontal. Yes? And it's on eye level. Or if you don't want eye level, dahil nga, ang sabi nga sa atin, maganda daw ang camera pag nasa taas, then let's put it up. Ako nga ngayon nasa taas. Just to make me look thinner because I gained some weight in this past few weeks. Diba? And if for all those na walang ilaw naman, walang ilaw na ganito, just make sure that your screen is on full brightness. That would help actually to, to bring light to your face. Diba? And when you're doing live streams, especially when you're doing conferences or when you're doing um, webcasts, make sure that you wear your earphones just to minimize the echoes. Okay. Right now, I'm not wearing mine because I'm the only one talking and no one is going to uh, butt in. But later, baka siguro kay Direct Nathan magka-echo. Do let me know if that happens. Okay. Now, next. So, I will be discussing these important skill set and pointers needed for new normal directing. Okay? So, first is curiosity and creativity. Second is flexibility and adaptability. Third is diligence and research. Four is foresight. And lastly is communication and clarity. Okay, let's just go first to the first one, which is curiosity and creativity. So, sabi nga ni Direct Tommy sa first uh, lecture natin yesterday, um, directors are called to be creative. And, of course, we all agree to that. And we need to execute a general idea and to create something tangible for people to see. Diba? 
And just like our usual events, we directors should be also be curious with how we will be able to communicate with our audience and with, with each other despite social distancing. So what I noticed is with the emergence of social media and the internet, we're still connected, diba? We We message each other, we do direct messaging, we do messenger, we do Zoom. So it's all technology. If you can see like the video background right now that you're seeing, diba? Um, there's two photos. I, I just like to show you how my home setup has transitioned from a simple iMac and a small keyboard to now like a contraption of all things. Now, the contraptions of all things, um, it was because I was curious enough to ask, how can I make my sound better? How can I make my look better on screen and how uh, how how can I do a live stream and I'll show you later bakit ko ba naisip na mag live stream diba so yun. so that's how my live stream setup looks right now okay so next so yun nga as I've said I've started out as a copywriter and worked my way up to being a TV director so it's multi-cam so I, tradi I transitioned from events and eventually into concerts as well. So I've been directing concerts for, well, not for a long time. Well, maybe around four or five years. But what I've noticed that because there's no physical contact nowadays, I am now able to go back, yun nga sinabi ko, I'm able to go back to my directing, my TV directing, and event at the same time. So you well as directors you should be flexible not just to be creative but to be technical as well. Diba? And to adapt to all these technology that are that are here. And there's a lot mind you, I'm telling you, I when I started doing this in April, there were a lot of people that are willing to help. I mean, I just called some suppliers, I called some friends from the industry, and just I just really just called them and, and asked them Paano ba? Paano ba mag live stream? Paano ba? Yung, I, I sh we should well as directors also you should know of course the basics of streaming, the basics of uh, spinning, video playback, ganyan. Because you have to do it yourself at first. Okay, let me let me reiterate that na you have to do it at first. Because I need to understand how it works. Although I, I can't lie that before I got into also into events, I used to do video playback. I used to, yeah, video playback. <laughs> I used to do video playback also. So, but I needed to understand how it was to spin and then the streaming platform. Right? So I had to do it myself, but, it, I, I, but there were limitations. And because I understood the technology as a director, I am now able to provide jobs to spinners to playback operators, to prompter, prompter operators virtually because I understand now how I am how I'm able to adapt it to the technology. Just for example, the, the, video, the picture that you're seeing on the right side of your screen, just like how Derek Robbie has done it, it was a green screen execution. But of course, I don't have a photo of my spinner. I do have a spinner that's right there outside because we we should practice uh, no, social distancing because my spinner at that time was in-house. So, and because we didn't have the cables, we didn't have the, the things, yeah. it was, what we did was we looked for technology that would enable a spinner to actually spin on a live event wirelessly. So, and then same thing with playback operator. So I was directing on a screen, but then the spinners and the playback operators were doing their thing as well. So that's just a, that's just how flexible and adaptability works on my end. I mean that's that that's the that's uh, on my end. Okay, that's what I've noticed. Because I can't well I can't tell you that it will be the same for you, but. If it works for you, I'm so happy that it will. So, yeah. So, next is diligence and research. So, alam naman natin that live streaming has always been there even before COVID. 
ba? Diba? And yun nga, that's what I've said. I had to research. I was say how was how am I going to do it by myself? And because of that, if you have been following me on Facebook or on Instagram, I had to stream it on my own. Okay. My story was March eighth. I was in New York and I was in Los Angeles. And that Yeah. Yes. And yeah, and I was in um and I was in New York and LA and which was the center of COVID. So I was super stressed. Pagbalik ko sa Pilipinas because I got back to the Philippines November 17, which was the last day before nag close ng borders ng Pilipinas. So because ako lang po magisa sa bahay with just my dog. I had to find someone to talk to. And I had no one to talk to. But I looked inside my bag and I my bag and I just have this DSLR. So what I thought is just why not create a 14-day quarantine on the things that I was doing from day 1 until day 14. So I I used the available resources that I had. What I had in my house was I had internet, I had a laptop and I had an iPad. And I revived the vlog that I used to do from two years, I think last year, of behind the scenes of the shows that I've been doing and events. So I had to merge my creative and technical skills. So yun. This was my, this was my way of research. Diba? This was my way of, of making mistakes online. So that's another point that I think I should be telling you guys. That do not be afraid to make mistakes online. I've made a lot of mistakes on live events too. I'm, I mean, I'm not perfect as well. But again, with this, since we are all adapting, the online community is actually forgivable for mistakes. And that's, that's why I had to vlog about it and make my own events to test the waters. I actually created my own events just for fun to test the waters on how I will be able to slowly adapt. And from April until June, This was also for IPWG, actually. We were able to create Faith Over Fear. And this was together with Shari, with si Leo, si, si Cha, si la, um, uh, and the others, Paulo also. And we came together and I just told them, I really just want to help out and create an event for me to practice actually my skills in live streaming and to be able to connect as well the industry while it was down during that time hence faith over fear was created so there was well two online con concerts with 30 almost 30 artists artists each and two panel discussions one of which which is direct talks which is a which is a panel discussion between concert directors, which included me, Paolo, Derek Roel Santiago, Paul Basinilio, and John Prats. And we talked about, so what's going to happen to our concert scene? And because of that also, another one emerged, which is producer talk. So I got to gather, it was a challenge to gather, well, five local producers, concert producers. I had Kakai, I had uh, Ovation, I had Cornerstone, and I had uh, MMI also to talk about what's going to be next for the industry. So, yun, diba? So, just, well, the other two photos are just me, actually. I have, well, okay. So, now, I'll be sharing my screen with you.
the slides. So, if you saw, diba parang nakita nyo yung transition ko from just streaming on my own and then actually getting clients because they have been seeing my live streams. And the lesson there is basically because your clients know what you can do they'll be able to get you because at the first part of this uh, of this pandemic also the clients also are clueless of how to do it and as directors and as creatives we should be able to provide them with solutions on how they can get back as well diba? with the help of your agencies also of course kailangan we hand in hand we we, we must be able to see and foresee diba? the possibilities for your clients what we can offer and what technology that they can adapt this also means that just like live events, when directing for a live stream for new normal, you we would think ahead of what's there. Okay. Next is communication and clarity. Yeah. Like itong photo na to kasi gusto ko lang po. Kasi I really miss these people, you know. So communication is key. Uh, but before yeah, uh, just talking before kasi we were just talking to our peers. Uh, on an event through a com set and we are all but now we are still on a com set but right now when we do virtual events hindi lang mga stage hindi na stage manager lang ang kausap mo hindi lang pati client nandun na because they need to be there already because there is no way you can actually talk to them face to face but you have to add them to your to your system and that's where later I think si Direct Nathan will also will also discuss that the virtual backstage is actually very vital. So before the event starts, just the, just like if, uh, just like your usual events, you do pre prods and you communicate. Just like what I've uh, what I've discussed earlier in this discussion, is that the way we communicate now is very different on how we communicate during events. Right now we're looking at screens and. If you notice, when Derek Robbie was describing how he was able to tell his team on how to do it, he was basically just looking at the screen and just dito papunta ganyan ganyan, diba? So it's different. It's it's really different. But just like any other event, there will always be changes. So you must be you must devise a way uh, of informing your talents on how they will be able to adjust. Well, um, just a uh, sample is. In my system right now, what you're hearing with me sometimes when I do live events, they hear my voice, but it doesn't come out on the stream. That's a um, that's a system that I had to learn so that I will be able to talk to my to my talents without me being heard on the stream. So it's just being heard on their in ears or in their or in their uh, earphones. So yeah, and di ba sinabi ko ito lang naman yung mga points ko. Lastly, which is very very important before before I introduce direct Nathan, 
is you should prioritize safety. I mean, we we can't say that enough. I mean, we all, I know we all want to work. We want to go back. We want to, but we have to be safe. It, it doesn't make sense anymore when when you have a big project and then you get sick and then all that you save up for it just goes to the hospital. Diba? Prioritize safety. With that being said, even before COVID, medyo OC po kasi talaga ako para event In terms of, I have my own table, I have my own chair, and I also have my own concept, which I'm encouraging directors to actually invest in it. Because most of the time, most of the time, our suppliers have similar have similar systems. Yeah, you have Telex, you have ano, so, but most of them have this, right? But if you have your own, it's gonna be easier for you, or it's gonna be safer for you. Diba? It's gonna be safer for you to actually use it. Na sarili mo talaga siya. You can sanitize it on your own. It's because you, you won't know where where all these things, yung sa, sa mga suppliers natin where they where they put it or if they get infected or ganyan, at least you have your own. Well, I well I really suggest that you guys have your own concept. Yon. So yes, prioritize safety. And to cap off my part of the uh, presentation is uh, just like what De James Dean says, diba? I can't change the direction of the wind, but I can adjust my sails to always reach my destination. So again, same thing, diba? we can always adjust, we can always adapt if you want to go back to how we were before or actually moving forward to where we want to be. That's it. Thank you so much for joining me in this stream. And of course, if you guys like this kind of content, do consider subscribing by just liking or subscribing and hit the subscribe button down there. And also that notification bell that comes with it. Do click it so that you'll be notified for my next uploads. And yeah, please do watch my other videos. So I upload some of my travel videos and some of my behind the scenes of the projects that I've been doing. And thank you so much for all of your support. And I hope to see you guys on the next one.